Welcome to Optimize 24, the thought leadership event of Aspen Tech. Now we have with us Sally Jackman, who is the Vice President and General Manager of Power and Utilities Business Aspen Tech. Welcome, Sally. Thank you, Gaurav. It's uh, good to have you and, and to have your insight, but I think to, to get us going to start this conversation in your leadership position at Aspen Tech, what are you witnessing? What are the key macro trends that you're noticing in your space? It is a really unprecedented an exciting time to be in the power and utility space right now. With all of the net zero goals that are coming across globally, we're experiencing what's called the energy transition, where renewables are gr growing on the grid. The generation capacity of the grid is set to double in the next couple of decades, with that mix being up to 80% renewables, wind and solar. This, of course, this growth of generation requires a similar growth in the electric grid. And the electric grid itself is set to double in the next couple of decades. So this type of growth and acceleration with renewables is changing the fundamentals of how the grid operates. The actual physics of the grid is changing, the technology of the grid is changing. Even there are new business models, such as virtual power plants and retail markets that are emerging. So it's a very exciting time to be in the grid. If you take a step back just for a moment, the grid is really only 100 years old in some places. And, and this is the first major shift, a stepwise move on the electric grid and the power generation to really accelerate and, and change the way the industry works. I think it, it overlaps social, but leads on to our next question, which is when we're on the cusp of such profound changes, what are the challenges that your clients come to you with? Well, as I, I mentioned, the, the scale of change is just tremendous. It's hard to wrap your head around growing the grid by, by double in size and growing the generation up to 80% renewables. But beyond just the scale, it's the pace of change. The adoption of renewables is happening, happening faster than anyone ever expected. We have a customer in Europe that had so much wind and solar on the grid last year that the load of the, the grid actually went negative, zero to negative. And so um, utilities have never faced these challenges before. And because these, these changes are happening so, so rapidly on the grid, they're turning to us, their technology partners, to say, you need to move faster. We need new features. We need new functionality. And, and as, our, as a partner to these utility customers, we need to also work faster to enable this change. See, the direction of travel is pretty clear. I think it, it, it then begs the question, in such a fiercely competitive market, what are Aspen Tech's differentiators? How are you stand above the competition? There's several different ways. One of the, the biggest ways that we differentiate ourselves is with our Monarch Core platform. We have built um, ourselves, our, our platform, that's really an enterprise architecture approach where we can enable the flexibility and modularity for a variety of different applications of solutions on our same platform. This provides a, a, the lowest total cost of ownership over the lifetime of, of this technology. It also creates a uh, ease of maintenance and, and managing the system so that uh, utilities don't have to uh, really increase their IT or OT teams too substantially to maintain our products. One other point I, I should say is that we also focus on cybersecurity in everything we do from our products, our solutions, and our services. Everything we do uh, has this cybersecurity focus and slant to make, to make sure that the electric grid remains safe and reliable and, and, and resilient. You mentioned the cybersecurity feature. Uh, could you add some color on some of the other features that we, you can provide within the Aspen Tech umbrella and the product suite? Well, uh, with the energy transition, there are an influx of renewables happening on the grid. And this is solar, wind, it's large scale batteries. The utility needs to know what's on their grid so that they can balance supply to demand and maintain that reliable network. 
So in our software, a number of our applications are, are modeling where all of these renewables and distributed energy resources are located. We're monitoring them. We're optimizing their use. And we're orchestrating them for both economic objectives as well as network balancing objectives. I think it leads us on nicely to what I'm about to ask you next. We're going to hear the words co-innovate quite a lot at this conference at Optimize24. How do you co-innovate, collaborate with some of the folks that you're working with? Absolutely. So this is a challenge that we need to face with the utility, power and utility industry together. And we're working with our customers. We've launched what we call our industry advisory council, where we're bringing in uh, some of our industry leading customers to help advise us on the challenges they're facing and help us figure out the best way to put, put solutions into our product suites and how to prioritize based on the urgency and the, the needs of utilities. So we're really um, enhancing that engagement and feedback from our customers to pull that back, that knowledge into our, our products and our roadmaps and enable that eventually into our solutions. So you look at the wider industrial ecosystem within it, power and utilities, your domain expertise uh, as an industry professional. Uh, give us a color of how does Aspen Tech then embed itself in this wider ecosystem along with your clients and then, then how do you you know look at the approaching horizon? Installing uh, a digital grid management solutions for real time operations of the grid. These are complex projects. They can take you know months to years to implement, and it really takes a variety of stakeholders to be engaged because we're talking the fundamental control room of the grid. And so it takes our partners, which can be advisory partners or system integrators, implementation partners, technology partners. Um, it takes a utility and their teams, our team, our, our services and product teams, even our development team gets involved to support some of these projects. So it really takes a strong ecosystem, a rich ecosystem of, of all the partners in the industry to ensure that these projects are successful and uh, meet their objectives. Sally, let's put you kind of on, uh, on the spot. In order to offer some sort of context to some of the things that you've just, the wonderful products you've described, the processes that you've, you've spoken about, just to give us some context, could we have a few case studies perhaps uh, that, that spring to your mind right now? Absolutely. We have some really remarkable customer case studies from around the world that are joining us here at App Optimize. Uh, one of the customers that is speaking is the State Grid of India. They manage the entire country of India with our software. And the, the sheer volume of power that goes through their transmission grid and the coordination that they need to do with their, their sister grids in the, in, in the neighboring regions is really phenomenal. Uh, they have gigawatts of renewable energy. Oh, about only 20% of their mix today is, is renewable energy, but they plan to go up to 80%. Their goal is 80% renewables. And so we're actively working with them and enhancing our technology so that we're able to enable those that increase in renewables. We have another customer, um, Public Service New Mexico, where they have very large solar plus battery installations. And they use our technology to, to determine when they should be charging batteries and discharging batteries, and when they should be uh, you know, using that for economic purposes for bidding into the electric market. We also have another customer, Detroit Edison in Detroit, that is using our entire enterprise platform approach for Monarch for generation management, transmission, and distribution and outage management for managing their electric grid. A DTE, they had a big uh, windstorm, winter storm, and they're using our technology to ensure that as many people have their lights on as possible, and that if there is damage to the grid, trees take the electrical grids out or, what, or whatnot, that we're isolating that, we're responding, we're sending trucks out to manage that and getting the lights on as, as quickly as possible. Our whole goal is to enable um, the safe, reliable grid, operations of the grid, um, ensure safety and operational excellence, 
and also support the acceleration of the energy transition on the grid? It's been a fascinating conversation. I think uh, you've you've spoken about use cases. You've mentioned specific markets uh, where, where you, you're operating in. It, it then begs one concluding question, is that when you look at the approaching horizon, you look at the profound changes, what sort of business opportunities uh, does Aspen Tech uh, envisage over the coming uh, half decade or, or 10 years? The future is very bright in the power and utility industry. And uh, the, the challenges are great, but so are the opportunities. Our portfolio suite is a fantastic foundation for building capabilities to enable our utility customers to have that control room of the future. And then to move beyond that control room into the self-optimization of the grid. Finally, our vision is really to enable that utility of the future um, with new business models, new regulation, new technology. We wanna be able to, to ensure and wrap around and support our customers as they go through this journey. Sally, many thanks for your time. That's Sally Jackman, uh, General Manager and Vice President, Power and Utilities at Aspen Tech.